In this video, we'll explore how to seamlessly import your Google Tasks into Google Sheets. But first, let's delve into why you might consider this integration. The primary reason is convenience. If you're more at ease working with spreadsheets, this method provides you with a broader canvas for visualizing your tasks, especially when you've added detailed information and notes to each task. By importing your tasks, you'll be able to organize them into multiple lists on separate tabs within your spreadsheet. This feature is incredibly useful for generating reports, making alterations, and conducting thorough analyses. It also serves as an excellent entry point for learning Google Apps Script through a practical project. Now, let's dive into the demo. I'm going to open a spreadsheet that's linked to Google Tasks. Take a look at the Google Tasks menu right here and click on it. Next, click on Import Task List. This action will not only fetch all your task lists, but also create a new index sheet. This index sheet will display list titles and hyperlinks for each list, making it easy to navigate through your different lists. I'll demonstrate by opening my Google Task app, click on the Google Tasks icon, and then select this dropdown. As you can see, our add-on is working flawlessly, fetching all the lists. Now, let's explore how to retrieve all the tasks within a specific list. Suppose you want to view all your tasks in a list named Excel Tutorials. To do that, activate the corresponding tab in the spreadsheet and click on Import Tasks. Watch as it fetches all the tasks and formats the sheet, adding checkboxes for each task. It displays task titles, notes, and due dates if they're set. You can use this add-on for free. I've posted the link to the spreadsheet in the description below. You can make a copy of it and modify it according to your needs. Feel free to explore, experiment, and learn with the attached scripts. Before we dive into the code walkthrough, please take a moment to like and subscribe to this channel. Your support goes a long way in my YouTube journey. Now, let's get into the code. To access the code editor, go to the extension and then click on Apps Script. This will open up the code editor in your browser tab. One important note is that we'll be using the task service, which needs to be enabled first. To do that, navigate to the services menu and click on the plus icon. Then, select Google Task API from the list and click Add. The first thing you'll notice when you open this is the Google Tasks menu. When you click it, you'll see three submenus, Import Task Lists, Import Tasks, and Delete All Sheets. To create this menu, we use the OnOpen function, which is called when the spreadsheet is opened. Inside this function, we get the UI, using spreadsheet app, get UI method. Then, we call the create menu method, on the UI object to create our Google Tasks menu. We add the submenus and assign related functions to them. This way, when you click on a submenu, the assigned function will be called. Now let's explore the first submenu, Import Task List. Here's a detailed explanation of what it does. This function begins by using the Google Tasks API to retrieve a list of your task lists. These task lists are essentially collections of tasks organized by name or category. After fetching the task lists, the function checks if any lists were found. If no task lists are found, it logs a message stating that there are no task lists. For each task list that is found, the function creates a new sheet in the Google Sheets document by calling addSheet method. Here in this method, we add sheet if there is no sheet corresponding to the task list name. We also add header field to it, like task title, due on. And we make some adjustments to the column width. You can see these fields here in these sheets. These sheets are dedicated to displaying the tasks from each task list. The function also calls another function, add index sheet, to create an index sheet. The index sheet lists down all the tasks and also adds hyperlinks to the newly created sheets for each task list. This way, users can easily navigate between different task lists. To access task list data later, the function stores the task list information in script properties. This data includes the title of the task list and its corresponding ID. It's stored in a structured format, typically in JSON format. This data will be required in our next function. The function is wrapped in a try-catch block to handle potential errors. If an error occurs during the process, it logs an error message with details about the error. Moving on to the next function. The import tasks function is responsible for importing tasks from a specific Google task list and populating the current active sheet in the Google Sheets document with these task details. 
Here's a step-by-step -step explanation of what this function does. It starts by identifying the currently active sheet within the Google Sheets document. This is the sheet where the task information will be imported. Next, it retrieves the task list data that was previously stored in script properties using the properties service. The task list data includes information about the names and IDs of the task lists, which is used to identify the specific list to import tasks from. The function then determines the name of the current active sheet, which should correspond to a task list's name. It does this by calling the getName method on the sheet. Using the task list's name, it retrieves the corresponding task list ID from the task list's data. With the task list ID in hand, the function makes an API call to Google Tasks to fetch the tasks associated with that specific task list. If no tasks are found in the list, the function logs a message indicating that no tasks were found and it exits. For each task in the retrieved list of tasks, the function appends a new row to the active sheet. This row contains various task details, such as the task's ID, its completion status, represented as a checkbox, the task title, any notes attached to the task, and the task's due date. Additionally, the function sets up data validation for the checkbox column. It ensures that the checkbox is properly formatted and behaves as expected. In summary, the import tasks function identifies the active sheet, retrieves task list data, fetches the tasks for a specific list, and adds these task details to the sheet. It also takes care of checkbox formatting for task completion status, enhancing the user experience when working with imported task data in Google Sheets. Thanks for having patience to watch it till the end. Please consider subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.